Hey guys, it's PI7 here, and welcome to a special edition of Underrated Games. Now this time around, I don't usually do this, but this is a birthday edition. That's right, and this game is dedicated to my mom, because tomorrow is her birthday. And I'm doing this because if really if it wasn't for her alongside my dad then I would not know the joys of playing Pac-Man. You see there have been there have been plenty of games that have been in our family for years. This is the one that basically marks marks it for our family so by all means let's play pac-man now let me tell you something about my mom she is one of the sweetest women you will ever meet in one lifetime and I do mean this. And I didn't mean to do that. She is one of the sweetest women you will ever meet in one lifetime. And the fact remains that she, she looks out for me. She really does. When I was a kid, When she was, you know, really, really active in the choir, and it used to, and it used to go places. I remember she went, to, she went to um, New York at one point with in the choir, and and well, I remember she bought me a game. She did buy me a game when, um, when she was in, um, New York. That one game I remember was a game that I never heard of. And to this day, I still have the, I still have the cartridge. The name of the game is King's Knight. And surprisingly and oddly enough, I did play it, and I was never that good at it. <coughs> now, it was one of those games that was never heard of, but it was done by a certain company that we all know of now. And it had a certain name. It was called Square. So... You know, I wasn't really a hard, you know, hard, hardcore gamer. I was just a kid. So, she said she got this game for me. I know there was another game she got for me. I believe it was Yoshi's Cookie. So, ugh. So, one of the, so, therefore... Long before I was born, this was the game that my parents played. This is the game that my parents played, and this is the game I actually lost in. It was a Pac-Man game, and apparently I wasn't any good at it. So to me, you know, Pac-Man is part of my gaming roots. Because it is the first game that my mother ever beat me in. All because I wasn't... 
I wasn't so experienced in Pac-Man to begin with. Oh. Oh well. And to this day, I still have a thing for Pac-Man. Round two. My mom will be 69 years old tomorrow. This game is dedicated to my mother, to which, without her, well really, there would be no underrated games. Because I didn't have the popular games. I've only had um, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Alex Kidd. Oh crap. Oh jeez, oh crap, oh mommy! And if you didn't know... Yes, um... Even though my name on YouTube is Pookie Izzy 7 The thing is, when she was a... She, when she was a kid, her nickname was Pookie. My nickname, of course, is Izzy, but... I've learned that my cousin doesn't like my nickname. But I like it. It fits me. It's very befitting of me. Next to being called Pooks, most people just go, just call me by my nickname, which is Izzy. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about my mom. So, let me tell you, when um, we had an Atari, I believe it was a, damn you, Clyde, or is he inky or is he blinking, I, I don't know. I remember when my dad was, when my dad was alive, these two used to play Pac-Man. So, therefore, my dad was the Pac-Master. My dad was the Pac-Master. My mom didn't like it because he never lose. I think that's where it all comes from. Me not wanting to lose. Let's see if I can... Oh, you freaking bastard. Oh, you are such a bastard. Psych. This is the game that pretty much made, well, me and a couple other gamers. <laughs> yes, this is your father, this is your mother's, you know, family's Pac-Man. Well, like I said, we had an Atari 7800. So you can see why I say, well, I can care less for all these new characters coming out, like, oh, we gotta make it more extreme, we gotta make it more of this, we gotta make it more of that, and whatnot. Really, I can care less for these new characters. I think I'm most happiest when I'm playing Pac-Man, Galaga, or Dig Dug. I don't want it to, it doesn't matter. But... I have to say, from the bottom of my heart, I do love my mom. 
Even though I may say, Mom, will you stop doing that? Mom, will you... Mom, I'm not a child anymore. Mom, I'm not, you know... I'm this year's, I'm this year old. I'm 40 years old, I'm 50 years old. She's still gonna say, that doesn't matter, you're still my son. So, you know... I thank God for her, really. Even though I'm losing, but still. Round three. A Pac-Man. I still thank God for her. For living this long. For her actually seeing me through and actually... Actually giving a damn about what I do. I mean, mothers... Mothers are worth the cost of maybe the price of silver. Because their love... Their love is more precious than gold or silver. And you fucking bastards want to Gang bang me. Anyway. Uh, yeah. This game, like I said. This is for my mom. I said I wanted to do something different. Like I said, I was never that good in Pac-Man. I was good in pa I am good in a, a Pac-Man game of my, uh, of that kind of, that, that, that's more befitting to me. I'm in the Pac-Mania. You know, the jumping Pac-Man. Don't you fucking move. Oh, well, I got all four of them. For once. <laughs> anyway, yes, my mom. If it, if it wasn't for her, I would not be doing this now. I would not be playing games that hardly anybody remembers. Whether they were popular at one point or not so popular, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been a gamer if not for her. Fine, y'all can have me. I don't care. But um, yeah. Pac-Man, the game that defined every one of us and really played a pivotal part in my life. I can't say anymore, but as I said before, I do love my mother, and if it wasn't for her, even if I said this like three times already, if it wasn't for her and it wasn't for my dad, I would not be a gamer today, and I would not be Pookie Izzy 7 because of them playing this game, which has played a pivotal part in our our family's history. So, therefore, Pac-Man, I salute you. You brought a family together, and without Pac-Man, I don't think any other LP -er in their right mind would actually be forgetting to do at least one Pac-Man game. I did two Pac-Man games. So, in any case, yes, this has been Pac-Man. The very original for the NES brought to us by Tengen of 1984. And I have been the underdog of the underrated PI7. And to my mom, 
who has brought me, raised me up, and made sure I didn't hit the streets, smoking dope and everything else. This game is for you, Mom. Happy birthday. Anyway, <laughs> the underdog has spoken, and I did this for my mom, and I'm glad I did. And you know what? I'm out.